What is a double colon in Python? Where can we use this and why would we use this? And the answer is quite simple. But first, let's go ahead and create an array so we can demonstrate how we use it a bit better. And this is just going to be a list of a range of numbers all the way to 21. So from 0 to 21. And that means we're going to have 0 all the way until 20 in a list. And we can even demonstrate that by printing these numbers. So let's go ahead and print this function. And when we run it, we'll get all of the numbers up until 20. Now, so far that didn't really explain anything, but to continue with this, we're going to go ahead and talk about slicing in Python, how we can slice arrays. And usually if you want to slice an array, you'll go ahead and say numbers. And, and inside here, you can choose whether you want to slice from the beginning or slice from the end. And what this means is we can slice everything before 10. And when we print this, we will get an array that prints out 10 to 20. Otherwise, by adding a colon in front of the 10, we're slicing everything after the array up until 10. So it's going to print 0 to 9. And the reason this only prints until 9 is because if you ever want to add these again, Python made sure that we would be able to do that by adding both of these. As you can see, we now have a perfect array just by having a colon in front and a colon after. Now this is fine and all, but where does the double colon come in? Well, when you slice an array, you have three different sections that you can specify. So here we were slicing everything before 10, but here we can say that we only want to print the numbers from 10 to 16. And if we print this, we'll get the numbers from 10 to 16. And these are two of the spots that we can specify in a slice. But there's also a third one, which is the step. So if you want to go up by two, we can choose to just print the even numbers. As you can see here, we have 10, 12, 14, because it goes from 10 to 16 up two at a time. Now we can choose also not to specify any of these. And to do that, we will end up with a double colon. And what the double colon says is ignore the first specification and the second specification and just go up by two steps for each item in the array. So when we print this, we will get back an array of even numbers. And what's so cool about this is that you can still specify a starting number. So you can start at 10 and get all of the even numbers back from the array. And this works with any kind of array. So it doesn't have to be numbers. It also works with arrays of strings, tuples, and so on. So you can really use this slicing syntax anywhere. And this is the most common place you'll find the double colon. And if you want to ignore the double colon, you can also say you want every two numbers until 10. And this is the way to do it. So to sum up this video, we use the double colon for slicing syntax. It just allows us to easily go up by two or by four or by any number we want in an array. As you can see here, we use 10 double colon two to start from 10 and go up to for each element. We can also do it every three and remove the 10 and we'll get 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18 returned to us. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this feature in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'll try to make some more similar to this one. But as always, guys, with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.